Alright guys, look at this vegetable here. Putting all those plates on the machine took him about 20 minutes. He's like, oh man, this gym sucks. It only has limited amount of plates. He's looking like a parsnip who's about to get crushed by the leg press. He's looking to the other dude on the left who has less weight but with better form. He watches him like, oh his skinny legs definitely need some milk. <laughs> No, this is not the sound of Santa flying by its great grandfather with his immense strength. It's a great grandfather strength. Great grandfather would want you to respect everyone. This left guy could easily call him out for the bad form. But I understand he has probably seen much in his life and does not want to waste his time with fools like this. They would just lie about having a disability or something. Of course I don't respect you, big man. They don't work as hard as me with the disability. No one works as hard as me. Let's have a look at this guy who lost his license last year and now decided to make a change. That's the look left then right before driving straight through the stop sign without stopping exercise. He's working on his awareness. The pizza planet is the best place to be yourself. It's a playground for adults. You have some fun, then there is a warm and crusty pizza waiting for you at the end of your workout. If anyone asks you to use the cable machine while you are playing on it, tell them to use the other ones in the other room. Oh, there's two more over there, dude. In the other room. This guy took attacking your new gym goals literally. He is really into defeating the gym equipment. He must have invested in the new workout program of Gymshark. You think you have seen every gym fail? But have you ever seen a pretty boy in the bathroom before? He's warming up for Marcia Soybean once she enters the gym. A martial arts coach is not made in a day. It takes years of discipline to earn the coveted title of Sensei. He was certain of his victory as soon as he punched his opponent with the tiger uppercut. A classic Street Fighter move. Remember, always analyze your opponent's strength and tactics before making a move. Or you can just take it easy and do some rows. The trainer showed him this equipment the day he got his gym membership. He said, and this is our rowing machine. And he was like, oh great, I like to go canoeing with my wife every summer. Oh yeah, I'll uh, come on Larry. Oh my god. You're looking strong, come on. The trap's looking crazy. This guy learned a lot from watching the great grandfather's strength. It's a great grandfather's strength. Always make sure to lift more than you can handle. The people who believe they completed a lift with good form are the same liars who steal from a gas station, get caught and then act like they didn't steal nothing. Oh no, what are you talking about? I was just benching over 200 pounds for 20 reps for cardio. Anyway, grandpa was out of shape for a long time. This year he decided to dig out his gym gears from the attic. He found his first gym belt that he used to work out with in his 20s. Now that he looks like a real bodybuilder, he has to lift as much as a real bodybuilder. Alright, I'm on nap here so my coach can't see me. He thinks I'm running from the training zone. <laughs> The best place to hide is the most obvious. Ah, yeah. Finally, no more squats and lunges. No more of these garbage motivation speeches. While this guy believes in his new pre-workouts, his lady in pink is like, come on, Jerry, enough of this. Come up to the squatting racks now. We will be waiting there for you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, buddy. Anybody want to be a part of the building?